What's going on guys, Arrow here, and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about the potential Pokemon names that we could get for the brand new 8th generation Pokemon games that are going to be coming out on the Nintendo Switch later this year. Now when it comes to the names for the brand new Pokemon games, I'm sure you guys always see jokes and memes all over the internet. I mean I know I always see like Pokemon Ketchup and Pokemon Mustard, Pokemon Up and Pokemon Down, Pokemon Pyra and Pokemon Mithra, and I always see these jokes, but I'm also genuinely curious as to what could the names for these brand new 8th generation Pokemon games be. I mean with every single new Pokemon generation, Game Freak always releases two versions, and they try to make sure that these two versions correlate with each other in some way, and that's why we have like Pokemon Black and Pokemon White, and Pokemon Ruby and Pokemon Sapphire and Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl, but the thing is, I kinda wonder what else is there left for Game Freak to do. Now we've already been through multiple categories with Pokemon names, we've been through colors with Pokemon Red and Pokemon Blue, and Pokemon Black and Pokemon White, we've been through minerals and elements with like gold and silver, and ruby and sapphire, and emerald and diamond and pearl, we've been through letters with Pokemon X and Pokemon Y, and recently we've also been through like the solar system stuff with Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. But now what could be the name or category for the 8th generation Pokemon games? And so that's what I want to talk to you guys about in this video. I'm basically just going to give you guys all the predictions that I have for Generation 8 Pokemon names. And then I also want to give you guys an idea of how I think that the names will work and what the games are going to be like. But before we get started, I do want to let you guys know that I am giving away an entire year of Nintendo Switch online. And if you want to have a chance to win that, then all you got to do is click the link in the description. I'll also make it the pinned comment of this video as well. And you already know that there's going to be some great online games coming out for the Switch this year. And if you want to have a chance to have Nintendo Switch online, then all you got to do is click the link for a chance to win and this is going to end on January 31st so definitely be sure to click really fast because it is going to be like the 30th when I post this so you're only going to have a couple hours left so definitely be sure to enter real fast if you want to have a chance to win. Now the first two names that I have here are in regards to a recent potential leak and that's with Pokemon Crown and Pokemon Scepter. Now regardless of whether or not Pokemon Crown and Pokemon Scepter are real, I still think that the possibility of having new Pokemon games being called Crown and Scepter would be pretty cool, and even if that's not what they want to have the names, I still think that one that could also be along the same lines is Pokemon King and Pokemon Queen. Now if we do get a Pokemon game that has these names, I could totally see a medieval type of Pokemon region that maybe takes place a long time in the past, and I think that this could make a ton of sense. We could see a lot of like ancient Pokemon designs and maybe a lot of these ancient like things that could lead up into stuff that has happened in the Pokemon timeline in the future. Just having a Pokemon game that takes place long ago would be really interesting to have. Now the next two potential names that I have are also ones that I know are heavily rumored and many people are talking about these being potentially real as well, and that's Pokemon Plus and Pokemon Minus. Now rumors of a Pokemon game called Pokemon Plus and Pokemon Minus have been coming out since like 2014, and so people have always been talking about the potential of a new generation being called Plus or Minus, and I could kind of see this happening, but for some reason to me it just feels really odd to have a Pokemon game that could be called Pokemon Plus and Pokemon Minus, but then again X and Y kind of sound weird to me as well, so I could totally see it happening. Now if we do get Pokemon Plus and Pokemon Minus, the way I see it, I kind of see two important legendaries that would be a part of the games, and maybe one important legendary could have like a really big positive energy around it, and the other legendary could have a really big negative energy around it, and it kind of gives me the vibe of Pokemon Black and Pokemon White. Now with Pokemon Black and Pokemon White, both of the legendary Pokemon were dragons, but one of them was a fire type, which was Reshiram, and the other one was an electric type, which was Zekrom. And so I could see a similar type of idea happening with Pokemon Plus and Pokemon Minus, where both of the legendary Pokemon are the same type, and I feel like with Plus and Minus and Positive and Negative, Electric type would make the most sense for this, so both of the legendary Pokemon would be Electric types, but then each one would have a different secondary type for each version. Now the next idea that I have is in regards to my April Fools video that I made last year, and that's about Pokemon Past and Pokemon Future. Now even though that that video is fake, I still feel like if we were to get a Pokemon Past and Pokemon Future, I would love for Game Freak to use the concept that I did have in that video, and so if you didn't see the video, basically the concept that I had was that Pokemon Past and Pokemon Future were both the same versions, they were both the same exact game, but they would each take place 100 years apart. Now with the same region and a similar story, but the time that each region takes place being the differing factor, I think that this could make for two really cool Pokemon games, I just think that it would be kind of hard for Game Freak to develop them, because they would essentially have to make two different types of regions, and even though that it's the same region, they would have to make one look really futuristic for Pokemon Future, and then they'd have to make one look really prehistoric for Pokemon Past, so even though it's the same region, they'd have to do a lot of work with each of them to make them look different with all the assets and everything, but I think that it would be really cool to have Pokemon Past and Pokemon Future. Now this next one that I have here doesn't make a ton of sense to me, but it's Pokemon Light and Pokemon Dark. 
Now the reason that I feel like this wouldn't make a ton of sense is we already have a Pokemon type called Dark, but we don't really have a type called Light, so I feel like it wouldn't make a ton of sense to have Pokemon Light and Pokemon Dark, but then again those would be two really cool versions to have. It would kind of be like Smash Bros Ultimate's World of Light, where we have a really big Light entity which was Galeem, and then a really big Dark entity which was Darkon. Now these next two names could be really cool as well, and that is Pokemon Rose and Pokemon Violet. And so we have like roses are red and violets are blue, so it would make a ton of sense with these two names. They definitely do correlate with each other like gold and silver and black and white. So I feel like having Pokemon Rose and Pokemon Violet would be really nice, but it would kind of be hard I think to come up with a legendary that's like a rose and a legendary that's like a violet. But I think it would be cool. I think it would be nice to have like the change to go from like colors to minerals to letters and then to space stuff and then go to flowers. It would be pretty funny to see that. But yeah, I think that rose and violet would be pretty interesting. And finally, the last idea that I have is Pokemon North and Pokemon South. And so once again, this doesn't make a ton of sense, but I could kind of see this happening. And the really cool idea that I have for this is maybe they could have two different places where you start in the region. Like if you pick Pokemon North, maybe you start at the north of the region and you make your way down to the south. And then if you pick Pokemon South, maybe your starting town is at the bottom of the region in the south and you make your way up to the north. Just an idea. I think it would be really cool to have some type of different story like that. Now I tweeted about this on my Twitter as well, I asked you guys what your ideas are for potential names for the Generation 8 Pokemon games, so let me find that tweet right here. I said, we always joke around about what the two versions of the Gen 8 Pokemon games will be, but I'm genuinely curious. Joking aside, what two version names do you think we could get? Reply to this tweet with your thoughts and you could be featured in my next video. So let's see right here, uh, this person says, uh, Pokemon Direct and Pokemon Now. I mean, I asked for no joke responses, but you know, I guess we're gonna keep getting those. Uh, Ali Gengar here says, Pokemon Dream and Pokemon Nightmare would be cool. Now this is actually a really cool one. Yeah, this is this would be a really interesting idea. I didn't really think about that. Pokemon Dream and Nightmare. Like these are definitely two opposites. Like you either have a dream which is a good thing and then a nightmare which is a bad thing. So yeah, those two definitely correlate with each other. And I think it would be really interesting to see like a dream type of uh, legendary Pokemon and then a Nightmare type of legendary Pokemon. Though I feel like for Nightmare we already have like Darkrai which is kind of like the Nightmare Pokemon anyway. But yeah, I think those would be two really cool names. Uh, let's see here, this person says Pokemon Infinity and Pokemon Beyond, that would be pretty cool. Uh, let's scroll down here, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Now this is a really interesting one too, and I think this kind of goes along with the with the Pokemon Crown and Pokemon Scepter and like the, the King and Pokemon Queen uh, thing that I talked about earlier in the video. Like this could definitely be like that medieval type of Pokemon game where you've got like swords and shields. So this would be really cool, and I mean we do have like a Sword and Shield Pokemon with Aegislash, but obviously they could make a really cool like defensive shield legendary, and then they could make a really cool offensive like pointy like sword like legendary as well. So I could totally see something like that those would definitely be two really interesting names uh, Pokemon Zero and Pokemon One. Uh, I think this was actually a rumor that came out last year. If you guys remember, someone like uploaded a picture claiming that there was going to be a game called Pokemon Zero and Pokemon One. Though I still think that that could be a pretty interesting game if they did it right. I think you know having the entire game kind of work around like the future and stuff like that, and like like software and stuff like that. They they, they could have done a lot of cool things if that did turn out to be true. Uh, Pokemon Opal and Pokemon Quartz, like once again with the minerals, King and Queen. I talked about that earlier. Uh, Pokemon Black 3 and Pokemon White 3. I wouldn't mind that if that actually did happen. Pokemon Black 3 and White 3 would be cool. I did like uh, Unova a lot. Alkaz here saying, after using colors, minerals, letters, and space objects, I think it would make sense to use something far from those categories, like plus or minus or light and dark. Now I did talk about light and dark, I think that would be cool. And plus or minus, I talked about that as well. I could see a plus or minus. Like for some reason, it feels odd to me, like to have plus and minus, but I still feel like it could work. Like they could definitely make a positive, like, plus le legendary Pokemon and then a negative minus legendary Pokemon. So I can see that working. Uh, I'll scroll down here a little bit more. Pokemon Jade and Pokemon Amethyst, that could be cool as well. Uh, I'll scroll down a little bit more here. Pokemon Life and Pokemon Death. Now, I mean, those two are opposites. They do correlate with each other. Only thing is, um, you know, it wouldn't make a lot of sense because of how Pokemon is a game targeted towards kids. Scroll down here a little bit more, uh, plus or minus, uh, Peace and Chaos, that, that also sounds pretty cool. Pokemon Past and Pokemon Future, I genuinely hope these are the titles. Well, I'm glad that you like that, I mean, a blast, I, I said this a while back, uh, Pokemon Past and Future. So yeah, a lot of you guys are saying Past and Future, that seems, seems like a pretty cool one. I think if they did do it right, I think Past and Future could be very interesting. <laughs> Pokemon Salt and Pokemon Pepper. Uh, the theory about them being called plus or minus are cool names, the, if the logos look cool. Yeah, I mean, plus or minus, like, for some reason to me, it just doesn't sound like it would make a lot of sense with Pokemon, but, like, then again, it, it does make a ton of sense. I mean, they're completely opposites for each other, they, it would make a ton of sense. 
Uh, Dank Memer here is saying Crown and Scepter, I hope. Yeah, Crown and Scepter sound really cool too. Like, I wouldn't mind if Crown and Scepter turned out to be real. I mean, those sound pretty cool. Uh, Earth and Sky, Earth and Sky would be an interesting uh, group to have as well. Let's scroll down here a little bit more. Sinister Arrow saying Pokemon Light and Pokemon Dark. Yeah, I mean, like I talked about that earlier too. I think Light and Dark are opposites too, but just because of the fact that we don't have a Light type, maybe it wouldn't really make a lot of sense. But yeah, I mean, th there's a lot of potential ones that we could have. Uh, let me scroll down here a little bit more. Alexander here is saying Pokemon Heart and Pokemon Mind, or possibly Pokemon Corruption and Pokemon Clarity. Those are also two really good names that I could see as well. I mean, most of them, I think a lot of you guys are just saying Pokemon Plus or Minus, Past and uh, Future. A lot of the ones that we've already talked about in the video as well. So yeah, I think that a lot of these ones are pretty cool. This one's, this person is saying Pokemon Day and Pokemon Night. That could be a good one too. But for some reason, that sounds really similar to Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Like the sun is the daytime and then the moon is the nighttime. But yeah, I mean, all of these are pretty good responses. So yeah, thank you guys so much for all your responses. I'm sorry I couldn't read all of them. Like I said, I get so many responses to these and I don't want to make the video too long. But yeah, thank you guys so much. I feel like out of all of these though, the best names, I think the ones that are probably going to happen are Pokemon Subscribe and Pokemon Like the Video. Anyways, I'm just joking, but yeah, be sure to follow me on Twitter if you ever want to be featured in videos like this, and thank you guys so much for all your responses. And so there you go guys, those are all the potential names that we have right now for Pokemon's 8th generation. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please be sure to click that like button, and also comment down below and let me know what you guys think of this, do you guys agree with some of my ideas, what are some of the ideas that you have for generation 8 Pokemon names, definitely be sure to comment down below and let me know. If you're new to this channel, then please be sure to subscribe. I'm definitely going to have some more Pokemon content in the future, so please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Click on that bell to become a part of the notification squad. Go follow me on Twitter at @joarrow so you can be featured in videos, and also join my Discord as well. We've got a bunch of people in there who are always talking about Pokemon and Smash Bros and Nintendo, so definitely be sure to join that. And remember to enter my giveaway as well. I am giving away an entire year of Nintendo Switch online, so definitely be sure to enter that if you want to have a chance to win. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching.